Hey there, hello, hello there, Jeff Cutter down and welcome to another boxing tournament. We saw the 1946 tournament in which we saw Archie Moore, the old mongoose, win his tournament over Lesnanovich. So let's see what the next tournament will be. 1978. Well, I know for darn sure that I've done 1978 recently. The 1898 possibly? No. Um, 1988? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I haven't done 1988, so let's go 1988. Give the 80s another tournament, the fourth. I should have said 1958, but but again, I was close. So 1988. 1988, it shall be. I know there's gonna be a lot of boxers, so it won't be easy. Whoops. All right, so. Make sure I get the 11 month 1988. This time, and Frankie Warren is page 7. Page 7 boy, so he'll be okay. Well, Michael Dokes, how many fights does he have? Two, okay. He's safe. Cardona and Grant. Cardona is a page 23. We're going to turn him to page 6. And give Boy Honey Gan the tournament opportunity. Aha. And let's go with Pepino Cuevas. So Ballard is page 58. Cyril. Mike McCallum against Kalasai. Galaxy, someone's gotta win. I think. Ati and Gonzalez. Ati is a page. 53. Everyone else says, ooh, gosh, we don't have anybody. No, we don't. Yikes. So we're gonna just randomly pick and go Alicia Obed and. Canada. Razor Ruddick. Razor Ruddick was ranked that low? Okay. Frankie Dog, Freddy Delgado. Oh no. Uh, stop. Um, Guadalupe, Gilbert Daly. I'd like to see him. Against uh, Nigeria, Asha Lee. I'm getting to the point that I'm like, Sean O'Sullivan, I know he's Canadian. I know he hasn't fought, so. We're real. Page 43, let's go page two. Rating two, page two. Okay, Pedrosa. I'll take on Young Man Wu of Korea. Francisco Diami. I know him. Darren Allen, Tim Morrison. Darren Allen, page 59. Shit. Um, Dominican Republic, Wilson Rodriguez. Page 24, Basha Lee, Croatia. Gilberto Roman. That's over over JS. Okay. Michael Spinks, Chris Eubank. Small Cammy Spinks. That'd be Quali. He said Subu Callum Bay. Well he said he fights Subu. No, no fights. Michael Watson against Hikarunian. Michael Watson is page 7, so his fight is safe. Ishisawa versus Van Horn. Ooh. Page 10. Victor Cordoba of Granova. That's page 8. Let's go Tommy Morrison. I'm surprised he's not higher up. Harry Mason and John David Jackson. Mason's a page nine guy, so so he will face um less than, oh, I can't fuck I can't spell oh I think I got it Gary that's Lesnarovich Gary Mason was that in twice nope so Mason will face Lesnarovich in the sixteenth fight so I put up a couple of Can well a couple of Canadians look at the Americans lack of one two three four five six. Seven, eight. Wow. 1988 really has a lot of countries. Like Panama's got some guys. England's got some people. Canada, Mexico, Korea. It's the United Nations. 
eight Americans. Well, less than that, I'm sure. Who's going to win? It will be, well, not these guys. It's Galaxy and Pedroza. So we will have one finalist who is not American. Thai versus Mexico. Kevin Rooney is a good trainer, so Pedroza looks good. And Panama, Estadio Olimpico, and Darian Host. Well, the, the referees say Paris, Ford, Marita, and Hill, your judges, and Max Davis, your ringside expert. So it's Thailand versus Panama. Carol Sai is the Thai Tyson. He's a junior bantamweight. By proxy, 49 and 1. Legendary super flyweight. He lost his first fight, two fights to Thomas Hearns and Muhammad Ali. I mean, when you lose to those two guys. And then you. And then he decisioned Mike McCollum, putting him at own four. He TKO'd Pepino Cuevas, and he KO'd Michael Dokes. That's a huge one, especially for the Americans, because that's one of the eight Americans. Pepino Cuevas drops to three and four, which means he's got his um, Pedroza of Panama, six and two, 41, six and one, WBA featherweight. Yeah. Pedroza got to the semifinals and lost to Jeff Benich, who won the tournament for Australia in 1986. Well, it'd be Mambi, Perez, and Kagi. This tournament, no, sorry, he, then he lost to Tim Witherspoon by decision. This tournament, he decisioned Mun Wu, he TKO'd Sean O'Sullivan, damn. And he decisioned on Bash Ali, the Nigerian. So, yeah, he's faced a Korean, a Canadian, and a Nigerian. Now he faces a Thai fighter. Let's see who comes on the top. Uh, cuts and Galaxy. Oh man, that bleeding cut by Pedroza. Man, what a way to end this tournament. Yikes. But it looked like this was a battle royale. Galaxy and Pedroza were challenging. Galaxy had a cut over his left eye, but Pedroza's right eye cut doesn't help matters. And Galaxy with a big win. Wow. Unbelievable. The TIE Fighter wins in the fourth round. Meanwhile, do we reckon in the semifinals? We might. I think so. Dwight Kwaiwi against Sumbu Calabe. I think Calabe actually went, is an Italian, so Kwai is bringing American hopes up. 3 1 versus 3 0. And Cedian Kelly trying to help the American at Sky City Casino. Frank Shane, your announcer. Sylvester Abanza, your referee, right? Shimikawa and Nakuna, your judges, Don Coco, your ringside expert. Yep, it's Italy versus the United States. Quali. The Camden Bushaw from Camden, New Jersey, I guess. 41 11 1 real life cruiserweight champion and light heavyweight champion. He beat Leon Spinks, Matthew San Muhammad. That's good. He lost his first fight to Marlon Starling a while ago, but he has knocked out of the competition. He TKO Chris Eubank. 
He killed Gilberto Roman and he killed Francisco Dam Damani. So that's a huge job he's done against three foreign born fighters. He's got another Italian, Sumu Kalambe, who was born in the Congo, now resided in Italy. So he moved to Italy to skip the African continent, which just sucks. But anyway, 57 6 of 1, European middleweight title, WBA middleweight champion. And he decisioned. Uh, Tobala of South Africa, TKO Hayakar of Thailand, and decision Victor Cordoba. So he's faced guys from three different countries too. But will Kwai bring America another title, or will Callum Bay maybe give Italy a chance to win the nation's cup? Because now we know Kawasai is in the final for Thailand. If Callum Bay wins, he will face. Galaxy with a title on line and another spot in the nation's cup becoming the 11th, the 12th country to get, I think, Italy or Thailand. We'll, we'll see what happens. We get into the nation's cup. I can't for a single. That's some cuts over his eyes. I don't think Sumbu will survive. The fight has it 76 76. If Sumbu can stay away with those cuts, then he might win.
I play with the play within the night. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. Ladies history. Well, they said that Sumbu may have survived, the music expert said. But those late rounds could have given Kwai a chance. So Frank Shane is ready with the call. John Wright of Australia scores about 144-141 for Kwai. Wow, he saw the late rounds help out. Shimakawa scores an even. Uh oh. This might be Kwai's fight. Well, what if it's a tie? Akuna. 143-142 for Sumba. Oh my gosh, we have a tie. We have a tie. Both fighters with a win. Wow. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Who do I think? It's probably going to... I think so. It was too close to call. I think Sumbo had it, but a couple of cuts he suffered. Now, now they have to go with a draw a rematch from the Northern Lights Casino. And in the rematch, Dwight Kwai won by split decision. So Kwai does win this match after all. So, poor Sumbo. I feel so bad for him. He had to go through a tiebreaker. So Kwai. We'll try to make Americans proud. He's 4 and 1 against the 4 and 2 Kyle, uh, Galaxy. The TIE Fighter, even if he loses, he's 4 and 3. He has hit 7. If Kwai loses, he does get another chance to fight in the next tournament, no matter what. Because he hasn't hit the 7 fight plateau yet. So the event will be at the Echo Conference Center. Lupe Catrano is your announcer. Bella Florian, your referee. O'Connor, Castellano, and Harris, your judges. Steve McCarthy, the ringside expert. So the TIE Fighter, 4-2 and two, with three knockouts. We'll take on the Camden Buzzsaw, 4-1 and one with three knockouts himself. So Kwai had to go through a match after a tie. Well, Galaxy gave Thailand a trip to the Nation's Cup because the you know, winner came from here. Um, the winner will be in the B group. No matter what, so.
So the grounds is a fight. Galaxy has a bit of a lead on fight because of his acne. Oh my god, Galaxy botched it. There was a foul. And Galaxy had the fight won. Oh my gosh, what did he do? He botched it. He had the fight in stage, and Thailand had a winner. But Dwight Kwai will win on disqualification. That is not perfect. Not good at all. Wow. Galaxy botched it. He had the fight won, and Thailand almost had a half-pound guy. This is the worst feeling in the world. I do say so myself. Kwai had... Kalasai had the match won. 
the two Canadians, but Ruddick lost by position to Obed of Bahamas, and O'Sullivan beat Mike White by split decision. By then, O'Sullivan got pipped by Pedroza. But, man, can you believe it on a disqualification of all things? And Galaxy is 4-3. and three. He has seven fights. He's up. So, man, that's just pure stupidity on his part.